at this stage we are giving our column a sort of duster look using an ambient occlusion map. Ambient occlusion can work as another mask for our cracked surface. In our case it helps convey a feeling that the crevices are filled with dust with its own shading. Eventually we will integrate ambient occlusion map in our workflow to create our final maps. Select the column and switch to Cycles. Select Ambient Occlusion for Bake Type. Uncheck Selected to Active. We need to delete any objects which might actually occlude our column, otherwise Ambient Occlusion Map won't be baked properly. Save the map in black and white with zero compression. Now let's mix the ambient occlusion map with our color texture. We can use color wrap to highlight dusty areas. Choose a color for the dust. Now we can combine our normal maps like we did before. The dust will be sort of flat, but you could find a more complicated normal map for it. separate roughness and specular maps as well. My dust is completely rough with zero specularity. Let's make some final tweaks to have the dust show up. Remember to set closures for all the images. Alright, we're good to bake our final image maps.